Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies 26 to the 27. We didn't do the 25th because it is a full moon. Now, don't be surprised because I'm gonna say it's a full moon in Pisces, not in Aries. I follow Vedic sidereal, okay? So probably you just turned like a werewolf. I'm kidding. No, you didn't. You became a mermaid, okay? That's what I see here. You became like a fishy, fishy dude, like an Ariel, okay? <laughs> so. Um, before we move, okay, I just want to give you guys an insight on how it is, on how it has happened in your, um, because it's in the nakshatara of Uttara Bada Prapra. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak Sanskrit, okay. Um, okay, I have a debilitation there, okay. Anyhow, so now you have to look at it in the perspective of first how many degrees, okay, um, that this, this full moon is happening. I'm not going to go to the degrees and stuff like that. Um, but it, it, I was just um, putting it in the, into the degrees because of the nakshatra. Because the nakshatra is important. Okay? The nakshatra that where it's sitting at, okay, you're talking about you are ruled by Jupiter. Okay? Yes, you're going to tell me, but I thought I was ruled by Neptune. Okay, right? You guys, you guys think that you are um, Neptune ruled? Okay. But you are Jupiter ruled. Okay? So before the inner and the outer planets. Okay. So as you are Jupiter ruled, okay, and then this nakshatra is Saturn ruled, okay? So I'm dividing you now, Pisces, okay? There's going to be division of division under the nakshatra. So you're talking about Saturn ruled nakshatra, Jupiter ruled natural lord of you, okay? Here comes natural wisdom, okay, of the ethers, an astrologer, as a person who has deep knowledge of knowing who can give enlightenment to other people this is this energy is about naturally having wisdom with the stars okay now that's the nakshatra how does the moon affect it okay here comes your intuition being aligned and being more focused than ever you probably did feel very sharp okay now i have to apply this to an ascendant or a moon sign in pisces the sun you would have to get your rising or your moon sign, okay? And especially if you are a moon in Pisces and it happened in your moon, your mom probably gave you some sort of advice. If you are a moon in Pisces, because the moon is the mom, okay? So you got this, this advice from your mom or you're giving advice to your mom that is very profound and very much like, wow, I never heard of my mom told me this wisdom. She has so much things to offer to me or vice versa. You're a mom giving advice to other people. Your advice during this transit is very important. Nobody else probably can give this advice to anyone, but you can. You got me. And as we, I move this, okay, I'm going to be Dr. Strange over here. As I move this to your ascendant, okay, if you are in that, in, in that rising, okay, in that rising sign of Pisces, I see here that you yourself had an epiphany because the first house is the I, you have realized something. And, you know, and this is, and this is also about spirituality, liberation, you know, like you, you as a 12th house, but of course it's going to be in the first house, but don't, don't, don't try to figure me out, okay, because the 12th house, don't try to figure me okay because the, the pisces energy is for you to get to channel yourself in dreams in reality okay this energy is also about when you are alone you get more messages you get more clarity by being alone than by being with a lot of people you you appreciate more time by yourself because all these people are just gibberish when you're by yourself you have true alignment to the eaters they communicate with you bam wisdom knowledge advice you know like like from from somewhere okay and this is the twins also Alrighty. so i just want to give you guys that information let's proceed with your 26 to the 27 and you can timestamp this because some people just just wants to have their soulmate and they don't want to work with other stuff okay <laughs> okay sun moon rising venus and jupiter no that's not shade that is a lot of palette okay just thought it. <laughs> let's see here we're going to have more transit where planets are. I will talk more. Okay. Depends where it's happening. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. You have your high priestess. Your intuition, my dear. Your intuition. Told you. High priestess, um, trust the moon, right? 
they know the eater's knowledge but they don't speak of it it is very much advised okay having this nakshatra and having this um, placement well if you want to read astrology go ahead it will help you and it's not about giving of service to other people which ideally you would but this is also giving service to yourself first okay and this is number two a partnership message comes your way the other person is ten of pentacles very family thing i told you there's something about family that has given you advice or you're giving advice to family also here high priestess with the ten of pentacles you've seen this person become your family you will have an epiphany <laughs> it's an accent mm -hmm. um you will have an epiphany about how this person is just like well if it's a song dream lover got best in me yeah mm -mm -mm. yeah that's not profound that's that's just mariah in me okay hey mariah you're on fire so you have a dream lover over here okay um ten of pentacles is legacy so chances are the person that you're connecting with has a maga I'm just saying they probably have a sag in their chart which is another jupiter rule oh wait is maga sag i believe maga is sag is maga sag leo leo yeah it's leo but probably you have a sag Leo Sage. Don't know how that works. Four of Swords. Meditate, contemplate, and think of the situation. It will give you the best advice. Not your BFF right now. Your BFF cannot give your best advice because they're acting like a werewolf also as this full moon happens. Okay? So go within. You will know. Trust me. You will know. It's a very auspicious for you. You have nine of pentacles over here but depending also what is conjunct okay in your um in your houses look at this the person that you are channeling or connecting with is single as f and has a lot of funds ain't that a joy that's rare it's almost like a unicorn single and has funds normally you get single no funds and then some people has funds they're not single <laughs> okay just saying that's the t right here hmm. person is confident the person who wants family over here interesting it's almost like you have a stroke of luck over here pisces underneath the four of swords six of pentacles funds <laughs> look at that giving and receiving i believe this person can be an earth sign of course um virgo taurus capricorn but this is um expect something like um how to say it? i'm not sure what chakra is related here in the stomach or the belly okay not sure what it's called but there is something in your belly uh that will give you some sort of something okay but i'm not sure what it is what it is addressing solar plexus okay i'm not sure what the solar plexus is related to but be conscious about your solar plexus and then it might give you something okay I'm one, of, I'm one of those who practice everything but doesn't know anything but still get everything. <laughs> the person that you're dealing with, okay. You could be involved in a third party. Only if you are in a third party, you would know, okay. Because you have a three of, three of swords. This person has a, how to say this, has a very bad family. Like, no, well, not bad, but they're no, not broken. But you know, like if they're if if you are the side piece or who is the side piece, they ain't doing well. You got me. So, for example, you have an ex-husband, and your ex-husband has the side side the side piece, right? No shame being a side piece. You know, we all have to have a you know something in this world, and you're a side piece, okay? So the side piece is not happy, okay? Because this person that you are connecting with, they don't want to be with the side piece. They want to be with the main piece, okay? Solar plexus is inner harmony and self-acceptance. So accept that you are natural intuitive. Accept that you have a gift. Okay? Accept the message that's going to come your way also. That you're dealing with someone who wants to separate themselves from the side piece. If they don't have a side piece, this is a person who still has so much responsibility with their family that they need to separate themselves from. Because I feel that there's they want freedom from whatever... Three of Swords and Ten of Pentacles is something is binding them that is strong and stable that makes them stable but also hinders them from their freedom. You got me? Okay. So that's where I'm at over here. So let's see as your intuition becomes more sharp over here. Okay. More sharper than Sony. Much better than Samsung because darling you are sharp. 
Okay. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Pisces, for watching. Let's see how this person decides to be single, to commit, or to separate themselves first, and then as, as you have your enlightenment over here. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Pisces. I'll see you guys again. Ciao. Easy as pie, lemon, apple, or cherry.